Okay, we got a new battery from Seacon. It's a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So this is the standard size case that we're all used to. And it has come in at 21.8 pounds. All right, let's charge this guy up and then we'll do a capacity test. All right, so the battery is completely topped off. I've got it hooked up to my shunt. And let's go ahead and start the capacity test. Inverter's on. Using the heater as a load. Pull in 54 amps. So we'll just let that continue on and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so we are down to 1%, 99.29 .29 or 99.3 amp hours, 1,271 watt hours. All right, here we come, we're getting close. There it is, 100 amp hours and there's our 1,280 watt hours. And we'll just let it keep going. There we go. All right, so then Ver's complaining. Let's go ahead and kill the test. And we got 103.5 amp hours, 1,319 watt hours. All right, so I've got the lid pretty much broke free. We just need to pull it off the rest of the way and then we'll be inside. So it looks like we've got, like a, this looks like a Dali BMS. It may be a different name, but we'll see here. Yeah, so it's um, there's no English writing on it, so I can't uh, I can't even really tell. I mean, I, I see I see 100 amp. Yeah, it looks like 50 amp. Four 12 volt. That's about it. Uh, it looks like we've got a temperature probe that is going down here. We've got a six gauge silicone jacketed wire for the positive a seven gauge for the negative and the cells are laser welded bus bars uh, maybe we can get them out let's try i think it's coming out ah, there we go all right there we go and we have some clear QR codes here. Uh, we can try to scan it. All right, so we got a scan, uh, but it's an unknown manufacturer. It says it is a lithium iron phosphate. Unknown model, unknown capacity. Has a production date of 6 4 so, yeah, there we go. We don't know what they are. All right, let's examine it a little closer here. Uh, there is uh, some material between the cells, which that's good. So that gives a little bit better isolation between the cells. It, it looks like it's a foam material. So that might be good for some expansion. All right, so let's check to see if we have low temperature protection. And uh, we'll plug in the charger. Okay, so as you can see, we're charging at around 15 amps. Let's see if we can make it stop charging by freezing this little thermal probe up. 
Yeah, it just keeps on charging. It doesn't seem to be... It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe let's increase the charge current. 30 amps. Try that again. There it goes. We really had to freeze it up, but it finally did turn off. It might be that the low temp charging is set real low. All right, guys, so I think that's going to be it for the video. Let me know what you think about this battery. I'll leave links in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.